I tend to do my own hair on the show. Aside from the first night, I did my own hair every single time just because I know what I like. I know what I feel good with and what feels like me. Hi, I'm Claire Crawley and this is my Women's Health Body Scan. My favorite thing about my body is that it has not failed me. In my hardest times, in my most trying times, um, my body is always there for me. The only bone I've ever broken in my life was my pinky toe. And I broke it about a month before I was the bachelorette. So I had broken my pinky toe in the middle of the night. I, ac I was trying to go pee and I accidentally kicked, kicked the toilet. Um, and it broke my pinky toe. And so a month before I'm thinking it's healing, I'm gonna be the bachelorette, this is gonna be great. And we're doing the promos for the show. And I had these very beautiful, amazing, expensive shoes on. And it was about a 12 hour day of trying to shoot the promo for this, um, for the show. And I'm walking and I take one step and I just feel my toe re-break. That's a fun fact. Um, and you'll see in the, if you look back and watch the promo for the show where I'm in a white dress, I'm sitting and I'm barefoot and I end up dropping a pair of shoes. Um, and they try to make it look like some boss move, but it was really like, I legitimately cannot wear these shoes anymore. <laughs> so I had to sit there and film the rest of the promo because um, my toe was broken and totally swollen up. Oh my gosh, I have one, two, three, four tattoos. And the reason I say it like question mark is because a couple of them are questionable. I got, you want to hear a funny story? <clears throat> I actually got laser hair removal on my bikini line this year. Um, and the girl was very new at doing laser hair removal. So she ended up, one of my tattoos is um, down near my bikini line. And she lasered right over that, which is the biggest no-no in laser hair removal. Um, so it blistered and she took off like half of my tattoo so i have kind of ish a tattoo there but she lasered part of it off so this is probably my favorite one it's my most meaningful tattoo um it says password it's for the people in my life especially um my best friend it's kind of like a best friend tattoo we decided a couple years ago that if we really 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 need each other and we're having really bad anxiety and worries and we just desperately need to talk to each other, it's, we say the password, and once somebody drops the password, it's like, I'm there, what do you need me for? And the joke, the ongoing joke with it is that it says password because one time my best friend looked at me, deer in the headlights, and she goes, password. And so she forgot the password, she was so stressed out that she had forgotten the actual password, but when she said password, I knew what she meant. So password became our new password. <laughs> so it's almost like when I'm stressing out and I'm just like in a ball worried, I can kind of look down and see the password. And that's to know that we always have each other's backs and we're just always there for each other. My heart, I like to say that I, it's a blessing and a curse how much I feel and how deeply I feel. I'm the type of person that refuses to give up on love. Whatever capacity it is, I just refuse to be jaded by love. And I think a lot of people, when you go into relationships or you're in relationships and you get hurt, it's easy to shut down and turn everything off and say, too hard, it's too heavy, I don't wanna do that and just kind of put up those walls. For me, I just think love is the greatest thing in the entire world. It's, it's at the end of the day, all that we have to me is love and it's what makes our world go round. So I just refuse to give up on it and I refuse to let any man, any situation, any circumstance take that feeling and that joy away from me. My dad passed away from glioblastoma in 2004, which is brain cancer. And then my mom currently has Alzheimer's and dementia and is living with that. So it's something that I think about a lot. I've done um, a lot of research into that because I believe wholeheartedly in mental health and 
everything associated with the brain, how much that impacts obviously our lives, how much is it, it's impacted my life, but um, doing the things to do preventative measures, um, whether it be for anxiety or whether it be for the long term, something like Alzheimer's and dementia. And one thing I have done is gotten, um, you can actually get tested for the Alzheimer's gene. And so I've gotten tested for it and I actually did that recently. So haven't gotten the results yet. Um, and I know some people want to hear the results. Some people don't want to know the results, but I personally, because that it, it does run in my family, I want to know the answer. So I can take the supplements, do the preventative measures and things like that the best I can, um, just to stay mentally, mentally healthy and on top of things. I do not respond well to anesthesia. So I had actually went in and got my wisdom teeth out and <laughs> I told them, I'm like, I'm very sensitive to anesthesia. I don't know what it is. I don't metabolize it right. I'm not quite sure. I was like, give me a minimal amount. And they're like, okay, okay, Claire, we know, we know what we're doing. And sure enough, it, you're supposed to wake up right away and you're fine and you go home. But I was there for like five hours afterwards and I could not wake up. I couldn't wake up to the point where I peed all over myself, <laughs> like it was in the car, like it was brutal, it was so brutal. I don't remember any of it. I was out for like four days, but it's a running joke in the family. Thank you so much for watching Body Scan and do not forget to subscribe to Women's Health.